Welcome to the Buckmasters Whitetail Magazine video series. Buckmasters TV and video goof-ups. There's no doubt you'll enjoy this behind-the-scenes look at the Buckmasters Whitetail Magazine television show. You'll see the hilarious outtakes that never made it to the TV screen. The mistakes, the blunders, the practical jokes, and those unexpected things that just happened. Brought to you by your local Yamaha dealer who invites you to see their exciting line of motorcycles, ATVs, and snowmobiles. Budweiser, to good times and the great outdoors, this Bud's for you. Bear Archery, makers of legendary Bear and Jennings bows. Wellington Outdoors, makers of America's number one deer lure, Tink's number 69 doe and rut buck lure. Remington Country, where you'd rather be. Real Tree Extra. If it looks real, it's Real Tree. Liberty, makers of quality outdoor apparel since 1912. Federal Ammunition for the shot of a lifetime. Nikon, binoculars and scopes for a better look at your world. API Outdoors, America's leader in tree stand technology. And the Woods Wise Call Masters, a tradition of quality, a reputation for success. Hi folks, this is Jackie Bushman of Buckmasters. Welcome to the Buckmasters TV and video goof ups. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to show you all the things that we did wrong. Everybody wants to be on television. Everybody thinks it's an easy job and everybody thinks just because you're on television, you don't make mistakes. Wrong. I tell you what folks, you couldn't pay me any amount of money in the world to do live television. I just couldn't do it. We keep the tape folks in business. But if I'm going to show you all my mess ups over the years, I'm taking a lot of folks with me. Whether they're sponsors, whether they're celebrities, whether they're outdoor writers, Buckmaster members, or our many guides and outfitters that take us hunting. We're getting ready to show you all their goof ups and mistakes. Let's take a look. <laughs> As Tim Craig and Jackie climb a hill, Tim is supposed to stop and let Jackie take one more step ahead. <laughs> he ain't stopped yet. Well, stop. Hey, every time Jackie took a step, you take a step. Stop right I there. Stay stop right I there. I want to stay behind you a little you bit. You just stop. I'll pull up here. <laughs> Bloopers taped from you. <laughs> they move so quick, you know, this time. Oh, look, look over here. Buck right there. See him right there going through that trail? <laughs> All Tim has to say up. is, there's a buck see, coming see, down the ridge. Right Wait till he stops. Wait till he tops out in that ridge. He just stop. Wait till he stops. It's a good buck. Let's start that one again. Hey, Jay, there he is coming up the, going down that ridge over there. Right one up, <laughs> down. Good shot, Jay. Way to go, man. You got him. That's a damn Then shake Jay off. Bunning's hand. Take a look at him, Jay. <laughs> congratulate him. Jay. <laughs> oh, I'll congratulate you. <laughs> what? That's right. That's right. Everyone really congratulate you. It's okay. It's okay to see you. Where's your hand? I'm going to run out of bullets here in a minute, boys. Oh, my Nikon thing, too. Oh, we'll get it. Jay, Tim, be sure. 
it's not easy to catch a nap with your buddies around. Oh. Surprise, you're on Kenny camera. <laughs> One million people are gonna see that snore right there. Oh god. By God, it was a great snore. It's probably a Boone and Crockett snore by God. Oh. Check Roy Gillespie's expression after Tim says good shot. You made a good shot, Roy. Let's go take a look. You made a good shot, Roy. Let's go take a look. Boy, you made a good shot, Roy. Let's go take a look. Now here, Tim that, and Jackie Bob, set Roy up with do? a practical oh, joke. Nice. That's a good one, isn't it? Sure is. Look at that. What do you got here? Nine pointer with some stickers, huh? You it's know that? Nice, it's nice oh, that's a good deer pop. Congratulations. Thank you much. You know that we uh, here at the at the Boulder Creek, you know, we have tags we give you on the ranch when you come on, you know. It's got a little number over there, you know, on on what class of deer you get. And Let us see what, well, what, what number a, do we get here? What do you number got? 149. That's not a 149 score. But you're also going <laughs> to have to shoot at 150 and up. Jesse, right? <laughs> 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 Yeah. Number we're one, you blew, it. you blew it there, Pa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst for you shoot. He, he screws <laughs> up. He screws up every time. That was obviously Miss Mark. So Once again, Roy back falls back for the setup. Yeah, just, you know, quite a ways away. So you had to work, that. work all the way around the side on him. God, God, quite a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he's a damn. Boy, boy, boy. It's perfect. Just uh, you know, right time, right place. Did it look like when he got out there, his back end started pulling back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah a little bit he was jerking kind of. I don't know what, what that could be, but he was having a hard time there getting the going there. But we, I guess uh, he ran out of rope, didn't he? Yeah, that's, you know, <laughs> he did that thousand pound rope, too. You I know tell you what, you had about 40 that, yards of rope, yeah, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and it got it. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you, he jerked yeah. that. Look at that, Pop. He got all the way out and broke. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three days he's been out there in that damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Yeah. 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 That's a nice buck there, buddy. I'll tell you. Uh, yeah. Four by oh. four is perfect. How about that, Marvin? Isn't oh, that somehow geez. he followed that dose? Congratulations, buddy. That's something else. It worked he, out really nice, didn't it? He came over that hill, and my heart oh. went wild. He just followed right behind those does. The rut's just starting to get going. You know, this weather's been pretty ugly here the last few days, and it just hasn't been clear enough days, you know, crisp enough here to get them going. But this, they're starting here, so it worked out nice. See, just Marvin just Trott is here. trying to be serious about doing his part for the camera, but he can see Jackie out the corner of his eye in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stand back in and pull on your thing now. Right. Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah, we, had, we had to cut because you got a booger, you know. Get the booger out of your nose. <laughs> you know, national television with a booger, you know. My God. Nah, nah. Tell you, that's the worst excuse of have ever seen. Come on. Action. Let's do another cut. <laughs> 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 Jackie's practical jokes come back to haunt him in this scene when a cockle burr pops up where it shouldn't. I saw those does come out, you know, that doe hit the road right there, and then those other does were in front, and boy, he stepped right out and came right up that hill and gave me a good broadside shot. Worked out nice. Lucky was on the right side of the road. Oh, I know, there. I kind of yeah. lay. I yeah, mean, when you said lay down and get a shot, if that hill would have been on the opposite side, me being left handed, I'd have been in a whole lot of trouble. Yeah. Wouldn't have worked, that's for no. sure. No. He stopped just long enough to get a good shot on. Oh, man. Worked out great. Yeah. Look at the beams on him. He's got some damage. He's going to go in that 150 class, yeah. I think, right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's a forky brow time. The deer I got last year yeah. had forky brow time, if you remember. That worked out great, I tell you. Yeah. It's, been, it's been a good week. Been a lot of fun seeing a lot of deer. Oh, you know, man. Just, We've had a great just, time. The right one just come along, finally. A lot of good guys in camp. Had yeah. a lot of Buckmaster members in oh, camp. Yeah. They all got good deer, yeah. and we just had a great it's been week. A super, so. super week, it really has. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tag him up. The four wheelers at the top, you'll get that. I'll okay. get him tagged up, and you'll bring it down. We'll load yeah, him up. We'll be down here in 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Get him. Sounds good. All right, man. During the annual Buckmaster's Disabled Hunters event at Sedgefield, the mood is broken as a couple of playful dogs oh, enter the picture. You know, we, we just we just love to get out there and encourage you to, to call the number on the screen and uh, 
Let's see if we can't get you back out there in the woods again. <laughs> Y'all got a whole dog. Hey. Uh, and the can't <laughs> <laughs> He's down. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got a whole dog. Hey. Uh, and can't make Let's see if we can't get you back out there in the woods again. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got a whole dog. Hey. Uh, and can't make <laughs> He's down. <laughs> Jimmy Hinton is with Mickey Roy as they reenact a shot for the camera. Mickey gets a little too close to the scope with the bill of his hat. Now here's another instance as John Ramsey takes a shot. Jeff Tanner had his shirt tail cut for missing the opportunity on a deer. What do you think, Jeff? I think it's pretty good. What do you think? Well, uh, Jackie, since uh, you taught me all my bad shooting habits, uh, I think there's something you should know. What's that? I stole your shirt out of your bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's my shirt I just cut. That's a brand new shirt. I was looking for that shirt to put on. You sorry, dog. <laughs> I'm gonna let the air out of your tires. Is what I'm gonna do. I got news for you. There's not any air in my tires. Ain't no air in no tires. You sorry, dog. Well, Judge Hinton, that's all the cases we got, and I hope we don't have any more, sir. Court adjourned. All right, guys, let's go back hunt. You sorry, dog. Part of the Buckmasters Expo was Life Member Field Day, where the life members had the opportunity to try the new products of the year, including a full line of Yamaha ATVs. They got to see how rugged these machines really were. Bucky, the new Buckmasters mascot, was introduced at the expo to entertain the kids, but not all were happy about it. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy provided entertainment for the expo at the train station. But let me tell you, these kids we've got, they will eat anything. They don't keep most of it down, but they will eat anything. And I have learned that cats never, ever throw up in the daytime. They wait until you are lying in bed, almost asleep, and from somewhere in your home, you hear Remind me to put my slippers on in the morning. And trust me, you do want to put your slippers on. <laughs> A train just happened to come by in the middle of his act. It's always good for your show. A locomotive, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for screwing up the show. Maybe you can come around my deer stand this fall. to warn the people that may have parked on the railroad tracks down the road. A 
Adjustable rear suspension, 600cc, fully automatic transmission. Grizzly by Yamaha, the ultimate ATV. Some can't see the forest for the trees. And then there are those who spend a lot of time in the forest, in the trees. At Budweiser, we're committed to conservation, education, and responsible activities of field. Through partnerships with the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation and Buckmasters, we're working to preserve a great American tradition. So the great American hunter will always be right where he belongs. To good times and the great outdoors, this Bud's for you. There are a million other places you could be right now, like a million average hunters. But this is no average buck, and big bucks don't come easy. That's why you're here with the Buckmaster by Jennings. One cam technology, machined aluminum riser, carbon quad limbs, custom hardwood grip, all in advantage camo. Go early, stay late, take no shortcuts. The Buckmaster by Jennings, with lifetime warranty and a free one-year Buckmaster's membership with purchase for about $300. I smell you something! Don't start, Hank. That's how we ended up on this wall. Look down there! It's Tink 69, Larry! It's America's number one buck lure! Dang it, Hank. Tink's also has a complete line of odor eliminators and cover scents. Tink 69! Tink 69! Oh, shut up, Hank. Just shut oh, up. Oh, well, what are they gonna do to us now? Take us off the wall? Tink's your number one supplier of odor eliminators and cover scents. Why, if I was half the buck I used you to be? You are half the buck you used to be. I love Tink 69! In developing the new Realtree Extra pattern, we did a lot of research and development, a lot of field testing, and I know it's our best pattern by far. Extra is the next generation in camouflage. Featuring 11 warm natural colors, Realtree Extra blends in with an incredible variety of settings and performs perfectly in every conceivable hunting situation. Just remember, if it looks real, it's Realtree. The legendary Remington Model 700 rifle, regarded as the most accurate rifle out of the box, whose bolt action is the overwhelming choice of custom gun makers, and what 10 of the last 11 NRA Hunting Rifle Silhouette Championships have been won with. Why we didn't win the 11th, well, we'll let you draw your own conclusion. The Model 700 rifle from Remington, a tradition in outdoor performance and proud sponsor of the Remington Racing Team. There's nothing better than being in the outdoors in cool, comfortable clothing. My favorite is Liberty Rugged Outdoor Wear. These bib overalls are versatile and durable, and they're perfect with this handy t-shirt. And they're both available in the new Realtree Extra Brown camouflage. And when it's cold, I wear Liberty coveralls. They're loaded with warm, hollow fill insulation. They also come in the new Realtree Extra Gray, a great off-season pattern. It's available where your better sporting goods are sold. Out here, there's no time clock, no traffic jams, no shopping malls, no politics, no neckties. No wonder hunters and shooters contributed hundreds of millions to protect it. Federal Ammunition, a proud supporter of the shooting sports. Introducing Nikon Monarch UCC Rifle Scopes. These remarkable new hunting optics give you a brighter, clearer, higher contrast image in those situations when you need it most. At dawn, at dusk, or in dark, dismal weather. Built around the exclusive Nikon Ultra Clear Coat Optical System, Monarch UCC Scopes transmit an unbeatable 95% of available light through the scope to your eye. Ask your dealer to show you the new standard in hunting optics, Nikon Monarch UCC. For a free catalog, 1-800-248-6846. After heavy rains the night before, Jackie finds himself in a situation following his morning hunt. The small creek he had waded across at daybreak had risen while he was in the stand. He had to find a way back to his cart. Buckmaster's cameraman Mark Oliver was trying to help the situation by finding an easy way across another part of the creek.
Mark almost made it. Mark almost made it. Folks, we're in a lot of trouble here. We've got to get to lunch. The creek has risen here. Uh, this is an electric golf cart which we borrowed. <laughs> Mark has already fallen in the creek. We're gonna try this out. If I don't make it, it was good hunting with y'all. It's been nice knowing you. You ready? Oh, baby! I got a brim on me. Look at that point. So this, Jackie this gives his son a few pointers on the equipment. Up and down. You with me? Yes, sir. And we'll use a quarter and everything. Or a screwdriver, whichever. All right, now, let's look at this right here and tell me what the initials are right there. What does that say? L and R. All right, what do you think that means? Left and right. Left and right. So if you're aiming at the at the center of the bullseye and saying, for an example, you're two or three inches right, you know, on a good hole right here, that means you need to come which direction? I got it. Cut what? I didn't hear what you said. Oh, that's a good blooper. They go deer hunting for the first time, and Jackie explains what right, to look for field with field some real right deer signs. We're going to go down here and try to find the, the, all the uh, trails coming in the field. Our stand's going to be right over here, and we'll look at that in just a minute. But your shot's going to be anywhere from 75, 100 yards on the long end, OK? And you've been practicing that. You ought to be pretty good at it. You can see right here, see where the deer have been feeding right here on the wheat and the clover? Well, they've been nibbling it off pretty good here. So we want to hunt this in the afternoons, OK? You know, we might hunt the hardwoods where, where the acorns fall in the mornings, but in the afternoons, we're going to try to hunt here. But we're only going to hunt here when the wind's right. Here's something right here. You ever seen these? No, I haven't. These are wheat berries. They grow out of the grass a whole bunch. You ever seen those before? Nope. Those are real neat. Take a look at them. See how they kind of got green stuff in them? Those aren't wheat berries, son. <laughs> Those are deer droppings. <laughs> You're gonna be a perfect candidate to go snipe hunting too when you get a little older. No, but that's what you're looking for here when you're going to food source. You're looking for deer tracks. Jackie and his son head for a tree stand built for two. The steps are a little steep. His son makes it just fine, but Jackie has a bit of trouble. He tries it again. The fifth step is still a little tricky, but he makes it this time. Here he comes in. During one of the Buckmaster's <laughs> boat camps held in Alabama, a buzzard kept circling overhead while one of the participants was trying to do a walk up for the camera. I'll try to keep him out of the pictures. <laughs> But the buzzard just didn't want to give up. It's a chap. Well, that was their lunch. Eric Leslie of Federal Ammunition was giving Jackie some pointers when a curious bumblebee decides to hang around. That are limited range weapon. What that be? It was right there, just <laughs> Don Montgomery was supposed to walk in on Jackie's cue, but Jackie just leaves him hanging. <laughs> Do it again. That's a good walk-in, though. <laughs> How'd you like it? That's probably as professional <laughs> as a walk-in as I've ever seen. Now, if you'll just talk with it, you'll even be better. 
Hi folks, welcome to today's show. This week we're at the Z-Bar Ranch, right outside of Brady, Texas. It's the second annual Buckmasters Members Bow Camp. Sometimes the excitement of the moment is a bit overwhelming, as it was for Ken Titus when he took his first buck ever at the bow camp. Ken, my man, you did it. Yeah, she's a nice one. She's, oh. she's a great one. Yeah, look at the horns on her. You shot a rarity, kid. I mean, this is nothing but rare. Check her legs, that. Richard. My Whoa. gosh, it is a doe. I'll be darned. I'll be darned. You're doing we, good. We get a lot of does like this all the time. That's all you've ever shot is a doe all your life. Jackie had a different kind of thrill when this cow followed him to his stand. then just hung around. They're hard to find a straight tree out here. Let me see what I can do here. Jackie enjoys his bow hunting, but sometimes it takes him a while to warm up. Still on. Then Jackie shows off his woodsmanship skills. Always take a grunt call with you when you go to the woods, because you never know when you might you know, have a chance to use it. You know, things are kind of slow like they are this morning. You know, you never can tell. There might be a buck bedded up over on the hill, so you want to try to grunt out. We'll see if we can get anything going here. <laughs> There's nothing happening in my grunt call. I would highly recommend getting my grunt call that has a, something inside that makes a noise. Because this one's tiny. There we go. Just took a while. Sound like a four wheeler. <laughs> Somebody to teach you how to use what's right. It's a bad day. It's been a bad day. I don't know what that was. <laughs> we could have geese coming in at any time. <laughs> just if you want to just see a bunch of animals, just you know, look. I got a crow calling at me. Pass the time. Uh, okay, I just called in the crows. Uh, 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 and here they come. Get ready. All Jackie had to do was ride up, stop, and get off his four wheeler. He already had one good take, but was convinced to do it one more time. It was a shake. I got your corn right here. I've been taking on my own show. Things that I have to do. Jackie and his good friend Bill Jordan usually get together for at least one hunt each year, and they get along just like brothers. 
All right, well, we'll get a bite to eat, and we can get on out this afternoon. I am ready to go. All right, well, let me get all this My stuff. My deer's still going to be bigger than yours, even though I'm going to try both. Well, you know, hey, I mean, hey, any deer with you is going to be better than what I've done, because I hadn't taken one with you. Are you right about and that? And I can promise you, if I don't get one this time, I ain't never hunting with you. You sorry, I'll dog. I'll make sure you don't get you one. You sorry, then. dog. I'm tired, tired of fooling with you. I'm tired of hunting with you, you sorry, dog. If I see a rattlesnake, I'm on the plane. I can almost assure that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why you know I'm not going to get a deer, because I'm going to see a rattlesnake right you, off the you bat. You will be nervous. You sorry, dog. You... Now, this is a perfect explanation of how the day went. And we're going to go back in there now, because I think since this bobcat's out of there, these old bucks will be chasing those does in that little old strip of hardwoods. But it was a hunt that I won't remember. God, dog, it's a hunt I won't remember. Jackie and Josh Warner ride into the scene and take their helmets off. Josh has a little trouble with the goggles. You got that one up there, didn't you? Yeah, Jackie, this is one of our, one of our stands we had set. They ride up once again. This time, he still has a slight problem, but he gets them off. On the next take, Josh does all right with the goggles. Got that one right. up there, Josh. Yeah, Jackie, here's one of our one of our stands we had set up already. The edge of this field. Might hunt this one in the morning or the evening, depending on the weather. But loses the helmet. Sorry, let's see. <laughs> He's dropped that helmet five times. <laughs> that was a brand new helmet until Josh got a hold of it. Jackie joins Jim Hole of Classic Outfitters in Alberta, Canada on a bow hunt in mid-October. Well, Jim, I'd have to say we had an interesting week. And uh, always when you hunt this big Canadian whitetail, uh, they've always got some tricks. Jim has a couple of his guides just off camera. The plan is for them to tackle Jackie once the conversation gets rolling. But it backfires. <laughs> I almost broke my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere. Look at the surprise on Jim's face when he knows he's been had. In the fall of 95, Jackie got drawn to hunt Kansas with Jim Aller of Wolf River Outfitters. That sounds great. Well, I'm looking forward to it. My first time out here in Kansas, and it ought to be a real treat. Let's get a bite to eat, and let's head on out. All right, sounds good. He practiced remaining motionless for long periods of time. Jackie even got to kid with a couple of Buckmasters members in camp, like Ken Merrick from New Jersey. He's a great deer. I don't know, for some reason, that deer looks like he'd been sitting out there for about 10 days. I thought I was, when I was down below you, I was watching you shoot at those steers out there for no, some reason. No, no. Yeah, wasn't that you that shot no, that steer? No, it wasn't me, Jackie. You sure? No, nope, wasn't I mean, me. I figured a guy from Jersey would come up here and shoot a Jersey cow. That's no. the only reason I figured. And you were sleeping last night, and all I heard was <laughs> Is that dreaming, Jack? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, get in there, Jim. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they're tough, man. It's a tough crowd here. You can never let up. Take a okay, picture of me well. later on kicking his ass. <laughs> <laughs> But Junior, that's a sure a nice buck you got there. That was a that was It a took a few tries shot. to get it right as Jackie walks up on Virginia Gillespie with her first buck. What'd y'all do? Y'all mess up? Virginia, that's a nice buck you got there. That was a great shot you made. Hey! That's well, a beautiful. It is nice. Hey. Oh, there's Jackie. Hey, you <laughs> 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 you. Do we have to have him in the picture? Uh, I hollered twice. Does he have to be in the picture? 
Virginia, that's a nice buck you Next got time there. Roy looks that too was soon. A great shot. Hey. Jackie, come on in, bud. I heard you shoot. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, that is a great, great deer. Well, I'll tell you what. Then Jackie really gives his good friends Roy and Virginia a rough time. Oh, what do you do? Oh, um, you ain't never heard of first buck initiation? No, I haven't. Oh, man, that's something. That's fun. That's something you'll never forget. Because, see, when we do a senior citizen's hunt, <laughs> the first, you know, on that, the uh, initiation's even different. So how old are you, 80 and you're 79? <laughs> For all you old folks right, out there, Jackie. that's what hunt is all about right here, senior citizen's hunt. <laughs> Go get the four-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he got laid that one. <laughs> he didn't think he'd go get bent, did he? <laughs> but then even deer sometimes make a fool of themselves, like this little button buck when he encounters a scrape for the first time. Ice can be tricky, but you just have to test it. But you just have to test it. Peter Weaver and Randy Sheck brief Jackie on the latest arrows from Easton, till Peter stumbles and creates a whole new word. Example: This is the uh, XX78 Super Slam. Right. That's the high strength alloy, the tightest straightness tolerances, all those good things. Also has this real accurate uni bushing for putting in the knock. Right. All things that happen. And it will help the consistency and the accuracy of the arrow. Uh -huh. And this year we've got a brand new shaft coming out. It builds on all the good things of this Super Slam. I got you. This is called the Supernatural. It's also XX78 alloy. Has a brand new feature. It's a composite material uni bushing. Mm -hmm. Just as accurate as the aluminum, lighter weight, super precision. Comes complete, composite. Composite. Hmm. <laughs> Composi. Now, <laughs> Composi. I think we have our ad campaign now. <laughs> okay. Well, that's Composiest. It has a Composiest insert. Okay, all right. Composi insert. The Buckmasters National Deer Classic is held each year in January at the Southern Sportsman's Lodge in Alabama. It's a celebration of hunting and the American sportsman with many of the nation's outdoor riders, product manufacturers, entertainers, sports stars, and Buckmasters members competing in outdoor events. The competition is intense as participants race against each other and the clock to score points for their team in the Yamaha ATV obstacle course. Wow. But not everything goes smoothly, as Kevin Turner of the Philadelphia oh, Eagles found out. This should be real. <laughs> Yes, yes. How cold does it get? How cold does it get, Kevin? Yes, that ought to wake you up. Uh huh. Then wrestling legend Steve oh, Austin and his partner take their close. turn. Oh, oh. Got two heavyweights. They're treading water. It's pretty good canoe out right here. It was. It was. It was. It's over. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's cold. He's coming in. Former Atlanta Braves player Bill Picota takes a shot for the camera. Do you believe that? 
Mark Lemke, second baseman for the Atlanta Braves, faces the tradition of all deer hunters when they miss oh, their sure first deer. Unbutton your pants. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please shut sure up. Chipper, is that y'all teammates? We'll take the fine Liberty t shirt right there. Just, uh -oh. here, take it. Here, give me some blood. All right, don't look, don't look. And this will be hung in the Southern Sportsman's Lodge as a remembrance to you missing your first buck ever at the Buckmaster's Deer Classic. <laughs> Where are you in your stand? There it is right there, folks. Bart Lemke's T-shirt. All right. Another event at the Classic is the pistol competition. Paul Meeks of API makes a good shot on the most distant target. Good shot. All right, call your, call your target, Paul. 15 again. Going back for 15. Then has a surprise on his bonus shot. The bullet hits the ground in front, splits, and takes out two targets. It turned out to be a long day when Braves third baseman Chipper Jones had to reenact a shot for the camera. You told me to, I thought. Hold up, hold up. Use your, use your knee. Use your knee. You know when you shoot. It's tough business. Another event at the Classic is the hatchet right. throw. Ooh, point, sir. Two. Yes, three for three, John Marone. Three practices. You can't throw a tomahawk, we're in trouble. There's one. Come on, Chipper. We got three seconds to see the hangs. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky. That's my man. Okay. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> While awarding the plaque for the winner of the bow competition, Jackie mistakenly gives it to the wrong shooter. And our 1997 bow champion goes to Mr. Chip Claps. Congratulations. Good job. Good shoot. Good shoot. I can't believe you Terry, take the black back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to get the Buckmaster boat from Exeter. <laughs> Alan told me the wrong one. <laughs> Y'all did see it here at the Classic, okay? <laughs> Terry Rome's here. And each year... <laughs> take it back. <laughs> the beauty of video. Okay. The beauty of video. Thank God it's not live. <laughs> Terry Rome's here. This is in memory of our good friend, Ben Rogers Lee, who passed away. We always give this trophy away. Our 1997 Buckmasters boat champion goes to Mr. Jay Barnes. Congratulations. Congratulations. It can happen here. It will happen at the Buckmasters. Country music singer Mark Chestnut takes a careful look around his deer stand before he quietly sits down. He tries to figure out all of his equipment.
and he doesn't let anything stand in the way of a good day in the woods. Jackie thanks Tim Craig and Tom Fliss for a great hunt in Idaho. Now watch Tom's eyes on the right as Jackie closes the show. If you get a chance this fall, take your family and friends out hunting. Hunt safe, hunt ethically, and remember, deer hunting has a name, Buckmasters. For all the guys here, I'm Jackie Bushman. See you next week right here on the Buckmasters. Jackie takes advantage of the mild weather on the tundra and falls asleep in the middle of a caribou migration. Hi folks, welcome to today's show. <laughs> We've already tagged out. And uh, looking at the weather outside, I've made a decision. I'm going back to bed. Good night. Sometimes Jackie has a little trouble getting the words in the right order. Hi, folks. This is Jackie Bushman. Thanks so much for renewing your membership to the Buckmasters. And if you're sitting watching our video today and you're not a member of the Buckmasters, look for our membership commercial inside the video tape. And we, too, do it again. And you, too, could be a member. But thanks so much for renewing your membership to the number one deer hunting association in the country, the Buckmasters. And you're also, do it again, the number one deer hunting association in the country, the Buckmasters. And if you're watching our video to, God, don't it. And sometimes it's tough to close a show. Well, folks, that does it for this week. We appreciate you tuning in. We also like to congratulate our Southern Qualifier champion and hope you picked up some tips from Jay Bars and Dan Massimilita. Massimilita, Massimilita. Well, folks, that does it for this week. We appreciate you tuning in. We also like to congratulate, congratulate. Well, folks, that does it for today. Do it again. Well, folks, that does it for this week. We appreciate you tuning in. We'd like to congratulate our Southern Indoor Qualifier Champion. Also, hope you picked up some tips from my good friends, Dan Massimilla and Jay Bars. If you get a chance this fall, take your family and friends out hunting. Hunt safe, hunt as... Well, folks, that does it for... Well, folks, that does it for this week. We appreciate you tuning in. We'd like to thank all those shotgun hunters for the letters that we received, and we hope we'll be able to bring you more shows in the future. Hope you picked up some... Hope you, hope you, hope you, hope you, hope you, hope you, hope Jim Varney as Bubba prepares to answer the young buck's questions. Every now and then you'll hear about a drive by a rut. <laughs> put that graffiti on him, trees. You'll see him writing the graffiti on the trees, yeah. <laughs> Spray paint. And... Bambi, 125th Street. You know that kind of... <laughs> Bambi, 125th Street. Buck's rule. Deer run in packs or groups? They run in gangs. <laughs> you can always tell the gang members they're... Uh, well, up in Detroit, that's a tough group. You know? That's a tough call. Up in Detroit, now they run in gangs. <laughs> they run in gangs. You can tell by the color of shirt they're wearing. Usually, uh, they'll have these drive-by <laughs> drive scrapes. Uh, <laughs> Give me that. They get involved in drive-by scrapes. <laughs> <laughs> they was making the horse with two heads, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he weighed a thousand pounds, yes, sir. He was surprised. But not as surprised as that guy underneath him with that bucket and stool. Give me that. Give me that, you idiot. Shotgun Red even missed a few lines. You know, you got to make sure you check the laws and to make what to see, find out what they, whatever what I was just almost going to say there. <laughs> However, there is no specific age for the largest rack, and it can happen at any time. It mostly depends upon the area when you leave, where, no, the area when you live. Well, whatever, when you leave when you live. When you're leaving and you're living, okay. you know, when you're there you go. <laughs> I live in Minnesota where the tall pines grow. Everybody else. Right. <laughs> for Megan Harris, all right. Would you answer this for Megan, please? I will proudly answer this question. Minnesota, my home state, 
is the top Boone and Crockett state for deer, having 123 typical bucks wow. and 116 non-typical bucks listed at last count. Wisconsin is a close second on the list. Minnesota Good. first, though. Da, 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 da. Minnesota. That's right where you're from. You know this. Right? I got a big hunting camp up there. <laughs> I love it. Minnesota. All right, Megan, we're going to send you an autographed Young Bucks hat and for answering. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, I had a good statement, uh, too. I read my part super good. We didn't lose a bubble, we gained a Jackie. <laughs> Three, two, Bubba. I don't know about your answers. I think you guys are step neighbor in laws. <laughs> no what? Answer this for Pam. I'll do it. You know, each state has different laws requiring hunter orange clothing. Mm -hmm. Be sure to check the laws in your area. Right. Not like in your home state of Alabama, jo uh, Johnny, Jerry, Jerry, Billy, Bobby, whatever the hell your name is. <laughs> it's Jackie. I know that. <laughs> right. Well, folks, that does it for this week. We appreciate you tuning in. Uh. Well, folks, that does it for this week. We appreciate you tuning in. Isn't the sport of muzzleloader a lot? Sport of muzzleloader. If you hadn't tried it, we'd love for you to try it. And everybody else, if you want to try it, just try it. And if you hadn't tried it, it is a lot of fun, and I ain't no doubt about it, you'll enjoy it. And my mama said, don't say ain't on television. I need to do it again. Well, folks, that does it for this week. We appreciate you tuning in. I tell you what, folks, muzzleloader hunting is a lot of fun. If you hadn't tried it, you ought to give it a try. God, that's exactly what I said. I forgot about it. Jackie joins James Bass in Texas, but has little trouble opening the show. Friend James Bass, a trophy outfitter from Dimmick County, Texas. Hey, welcome back. Glad to have you, Jackie. Do it again. I'm, I'm welcoming you. you should... Glad to be here. Glad to be here, by God. <laughs> welcome back. Folks, we're taking a break from the hunt. I just want to talk a little bit about the management program that James and their folks got going here. I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. The mineral sources, the food, sources as far as letting these animals grow. They have really worked on it and they have some animals that you won't believe. And they really specialize in spread and body weight as you can tell right here. Fine, fine specimens. And we're really looking forward to hunting them hard here this week. And uh, maybe we can take one of these mature animals that you can see in right here. Fine, fine specimens. Probably got Probably 60 inch spread spike right there, but uh, the diameter on that's probably about 10 inches all the way out. So uh, that's what we're looking for, and maybe we'll get lucky and get one. Getting into position just wasn't as smooth as it could have been. <laughs> Do that one again. <laughs> James Bass and Buckmaster's cameraman Gene Beitelsbacher discuss a plan to set Jackie up for a practical joke. to pull, but I don't know if the Buckmaster will fall for it. I think he'll fall for it. We've been on the road for four months now, and, and uh, he always does what his guide says. Well, I'm definitely <laughs> going to tell him that he's a shooter, that he ought to shoot him. So you're going to set it up out in the brush? Yeah, we'll set it up like he's bedded down in some tall grass oh, up around a cactus with his head sticking up. and. You know, Jackie's been spotting them all week, and we're going to do a little high rack in this afternoon and okay. a little spot and stalk and see from up in that high rack whether or not Jackie can spot him. Well, I think it's a good trick. It's about time somebody pulls one on him. He's been pulling on everybody in camp all for the past couple of months. It's well, if we get him on this one, you're going to top it. It was your idea. <laughs> My idea? <laughs> well, that's the way we'll keep it. OK, all right. The plan was to take Jackie hunting that day on a remote part of the ranch. They would ride till they got to where the mounted head was placed. Then excitedly point out the buck and tell Jackie to take him. You know what? 
<laughs> that's all right. I can take a joke with the best one. The only thing, you know, the only thing that's bothering the only thing me is I, is I did this last week was the problem. They did it to you last week? Oh, you no, did? No, I missed last week. And I'm sitting there going, oh my God. God, I've already started back up again. I, I, I said, that's the only thing. I, hey, I love the joke. It's funny as hell, but I'm sitting there going, I'm sitting here shooting at this deer. I missed one like that last week. I'm just going, Jesus, something is wrong with me. I'm too old for this. Oh, I got nothing to do with it. <laughs> I tell you what, that's a hell of a job right there, buddy. Hey. No. Oh, see, you guys are cruel. That's all right. Do you know Gene? No, it's only me and Gene. Oh, you been on that thing? No, I, I mean, Gene, you been on that? Gene, you been on that part. I can take a joke and give a joke. Did I hit him? Did I hit him? You're a liar. Oh, hey, I can take a joke and I can give a joke. You got me on this one. I can promise you, folks, if I see this sucker laying there another two times, I'm going to shoot him again. <laughs> Golly, I shake it like a nigga. I said, Gene, you got me on that one. I was shaking so bad last week, I missed one. Just flat out missed it. I said, God, there's no way I can miss this deer. Great deer, Jackie. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're a great guy. <laughs> Probably one of the greatest guys. Here, take this and let's Thank go you. hunting. You are sorry. Well, folks, that's a lot of action right there. Hope you were entertained by it. That sure is. Mm. Do it again. Do it again. Keep the cameras on. Hi, right, Ray. Well, folks, wasn't that a nasty? Not nasty. Do it again, do it again. Are you ready? Well, folks, wasn't that a cruel, practical joke to play on a deer hunter like myself? I mean, I'm out there trying to entertain y'all. I'm tired. I've been doing this for four or five months, and I couldn't believe that the producer of my show set me up along with the outfitter. That is a very cruel thing that you could do to somebody like that. I hope y'all laughed at it. I, I didn't think it was very funny. But the rest of the video, hey, I hope you are entertained. And the folks out there, just remember, if you got a video camera, something could happen to you too. Hey, thanks for watching the video, and we'll make sure we bring you some more in the future. I didn't like that either. That stunk. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Are you ready? All right, I'm going to get it on this tape. All right, what is this? Fourth, fifth, sixth? Which tape? Fifth tape? Okay, I'll get it this time. All right, ready? You on? Okay, here we go. All right, I'll get it. What is it, sixth tape? Seventh tape? Uh, we're not going to be We got enough tape? Yep. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. You ready? I get up every morning, every single morning for five months out of the year. Everybody says they'd love to have my job. Well, hey. Get up at 4 o'clock every morning for five months and see if you want my job. I can't believe they did that to me. I was tired, and uh, I just always do what the guide says. And I did exactly what he said. He identified it was a nice buck. It was a shooter buck. I put it on. I took the shot. I thought I missed, which I normally don't do. I shot again, and then they started laughing. Very, very cruel. I'm sure you think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. The other parts of the video I think are funny because I was doing the practical jokes on most everybody else. I think those are funny. Well, folks, again, we appreciate you watching the video. We hope you laughed a little bit with us. And we're going to bring you some more videos in the future because we're going to have a lot of goof-ups. I know they're coming because anything happens in deer hunting. Just remember, if you've got a camcorder out there behind you, you can mess up just as easy as me. Hey, we'll see you next time. I like that thing. You like that one? All right, put that one in there. Book them, Dano. That was in the can after eight days. I'm a professional at my job. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. I'm going to put that back on. I'm losing my hair. Thank you. Bye.